Watch you guys, welcome back to the Zeus Daz Unemulated Retro Game Channel and I go by the name of Zeus and this time I'm going to bring you an arcade classic under the name of Tempest released by Atari back in 1980 and my very first arcade game I ever played and sadly spent most of my other days watching other people play it because by then I was only about 10 years old and I didn't have any money back then to play it myself and if only I knew then what I knew now because I would have collared my dad to buy the machine for a couple of hundred pounds which I must admit was probably a lot of money back then but if you got a machine now that's in perfect work in order these machines go for quite a, quite a few quid uh, one went recently on eBay for a thousand thousand pounds um, yeah they're very seriously collectors items sadly I've not been able to play this since that day that's been 32 years and counting it was roughly 1982 in summer that was a little fair that I managed to play it and watch it and the beauty of that game is it was on a vector monitor. It looked absolutely stunning. It, made, it gave it a, a 3D high definition look. It's a fantastic game. Uh, the idea is um, you've got to uh, zap these monsters that come out of the base of the tube. What it, what it is, the author had a nightmare that these monsters were coming out from the ground and coming up. And he was shooting them down back into the hole. Whereas most people think it's set in space it is because of the star field between each levels. And I think that will be, it sounds a bit more cooler. I think it's, it does sound better being in space. But the true story is that it was set uh, in the ground. A monster's coming out of you and you're like a spider that go around the top of the web. And you've got to shoot these alien things down, these monsters, and then walk to the next level. Uh, there's 16 levels. Um, and they repeat different colours. The first 16 are blue, the next 16 are red, then it's yellow. I can't remember what's after that, whether it's uh, uh, white or invisible. There's green as well. Um, but they introduce different aliens on every other 16 levels, like new pulsars and other kind of weird gizmo-y stuff. Uh, as I said, it was a 1980 game. And for its time, a colour vector monitor, it looks stunning to look at. This, unfortunately, is not going to be have the same effect uh, because it's on a normal TV tube. This is on a PS1 compilation, Atari Anniversary Edition. Redo, redo, whatever you bloody pronounce that stupid name. Um, there, is, there is a version on PS2 compilation, Atari compilation, but it, it had its faults. It, it had differences. The most closest you're going to get on a home console of the original Tempest machine is this one. And that's as I said, is on the Atari Anniversary PS1 compilation. Um, uh, there was a, a fantastic update of it that came out on the Jaguar, Tempest 2000. But the it was released a year or two later on PS1 called Tempest X3. And in my book, that is fantastic. I'll be doing a Let's Play on that at some point. Uh, that is brilliant, even better than the Jaguar version, in my opinion. I think it was stunning, with a stunning soundtrack. And what we're going to do, we're going to play a few levels of this game, see how far we can get. This awesome version also includes Tubes as well, the unofficial uh, sequel to it, uh, which was uh, it was like a ROM modification made by somebody where you can play different shapes a lot harder. So we'll have a look at that as well. That's also available in, in this uh, version. So let's try and get a game going. And you can select your levels right up to there if you want all the way up to the end but we're going to start all the way on level one which is the easiest and i'm using a ps2 compilation uh ps2 uh joypad at the moment so it's not it's not the easiest to and i've died straight away it's not the easiest to control i, I don't like you need a spinner if anything to control it a bit like the um what you've got on the arkanoid arcade game there we go <laughs> Straight away. I remember that from my childhood, that, that image of that vision. Um, and the only, the only version I had for years when I was a kid was the Spectrum version released by Electric Dreams. Also on my channel, that is. Nowhere near as fast as frantic as this, uh, but it was the closest you were going to get. It didn't have its... Um, let's use the Super Zappy Day, get rid of that. Uh, come on. Ah, okay. Yeah, the 16 levels. These are blue. I don't know why they come out. It looks a bit more like purple to me, but they're supposed to be blue. And uh, then you go to the red levels, which is very hard. I'll show you some of them because I've got the. Uh, oh, I've got caught there. Uh, I've got the um, select uh, any levels from uh, which you can access into the uh, 
the game menu screen, you can do that. Avoid spikes here, you must avoid them, otherwise you die. Okay, not doing too bad. Done a lot worse, I must admit. It's very fast, very frantic. And uh, as I, say, I said, it is, whether you like it or not, it is an arcade classic. Okay, triangle. And that's what keeps it going, the interest level. It's um, different shapes, different colours. There's an Amiga version. I did a Let's Play of that uh, about a week or two ago called Vector Storm. That's not too bad. Um, it's as close as you'll get to a, an arcade version of, um, of Tempest. Bad here, really. I'll use that a bit soon. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna die pretty quickly now. I've got, you only get one zapper. Ah! Oh, avoid the spikes. Yeah, never hit the spikes, you'll lose a life straight away. But yeah, if, you f if you're like a fast, frantic shooter. I've got a life there. Oh, and I lost it. Um, this is definitely worth a go, and as I said, it's, a, it's an absolute classic in uh, most people's minds, most gamers, most retro, ga retro gamers. And as I said, if any if anyone's out there in the UK, preferably Southern End, that's got this game, the actual oh, it's kind of arcade game, then please invite me around. <laughs> I said, I'll buy you a pint. I love to have a game. It's been 32 years and counting since I played this on the real arcade machine. Okay, that's um, that's uh, no, no, no. Start to but okay. Let's go up a level. Let's let's try the reds. There we go. It's gonna be harder now. You can see, there's pulsar. Oh, that lasted long, didn't it? There's pulsars on this level. You've got to be careful of them. You can shoot them when they're not doing their thing. Whoa! And I think I'm gonna die. There's no way I'm gonna survive this. Oh, I did. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, you can't, you can't cross. Yeah, that's what happens. If you cross the beam where they're zapping you, you're gonna die. Fucking hell, I am losing lives now. But this is just to show you what the other levels are like. Some of them. Oh. Oh, come on, Darren. What did you use your zapper for already? You lost it. In all fairness, I haven't practiced at this. I do need practice at this. So yes, I am shit at this. <laughs> but as I said, I haven't spent days and weeks practicing it. Yeah, you can only zap those things when they're crossing the beams, otherwise they fry you. Oh, is that it? No, not game over. Still got a life or two. So we'll take a, a look at uh, one of the invisible levels. Game over. Right, uh, so you get a yellow after that. And that's the invisible levels, I believe. Oh, no, they're not. It's the cyan colour. Okay, we'll give that a shot. It gets very fast now. Uh, I've uploaded, I said I've uploaded this without commentary. I've done a, a good... Um, Ah, uh, amount of um, footage of this game on the other levels. I'm not going to pass this level. Oh, come on, let me pass this level. Nope, <laughs> dead. All right, let's try a later one. Let's go right. That's the green ones. Let's try that one. Oh, it's the same one. Sorry, let's come out of that. We don't want that, do we? We don't want that one. Start a new game, please. Right, let's try that again. 65. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the invisible levels. And you've really got to um, 
Look how fast that is. That's insane. Absolutely insane. I expected these to be the last level, but you get a green set of levels after this. I'm actually surviving a bit there. Ah, bastard. Oh, same guy. Zap your ass. Zap your ass. Right, let's try... Um, okay, let's try... Uh, let's try tubes. So you go to the menu. So you get all this. Original, there we go, tubes. Accept. Okay, see, very different shapes. Very different shapes. Let's try something. Ooh, what's that one? What's that one? Ooh, oh dear. That's a bit weird. So this was an unofficial ROM change. Um, some guy just obviously got bored and felt like, well, I'll make a, an update. It wasn't official Tempest 2, which was sad. A damn shame. Such a classic game. It should have been automatically set for sequel. And the only other thing I, I'm disappointed about this game is that um, it didn't have an end screen. I, you should know me by now, I love end screens. But it should have had some sort of end game boss, like a skull in the background or something, you know, on the Vectrex. They could have done something, something really cool. Uh, anything else? We'll try a different level. Red. Let's try... Let's try that one. Yeah, so it's... They're a lot harder. Nasty shapes. Um, and as I said, this came out as an official ROM for the arcade machine. But I never got to play it, personally. I only got to play the original. And as I said, only a couple of times. I can still picture it now in front of that machine. I must have been... As I said, I must have been about eight, nine years old. Seems such a long time ago now. And that's it. Oh well, okay. Well, there you go. There's uh, that's Tempest for you. As close as it can be on the home machine. Sadly, you won't get the benefit um, as being on the ve vector uh, monitor. As I said, uh, that's when you really. That's when it comes. That's when it really shines. Um, it's very, very clear. If you have ever seen games on a vector a vector monitor, you'll understand where I'm coming from. Full color vector monitor. Um, stunning to look at uh, when it's in full. When it's when you're actually playing it. Uh, the lines are thick and bright and they just everything looks lasery about it it's, it's beautiful you're never going to get that on the home system sadly but okay there's uh, tempest from the uh, atari arcade machine i hope you like that uh, let's play and until next time happy gaming